What's up, guys and gals? And I don't know, maybe your dogs watch with you. I know mine does. Aria likes to actually watch me play video games. Uh, it's so funny. She just sits there staring at the screen. And I would expect her to do that for, like, animals, you know, like on Animal Planet or something like that. But she straight up watches me play video games like God of War. <laughs> okay, so that's... Okay, so we came in through here. Uh, we got a chest over there, right? What's over here? Oh. Uh, here's this way. I can see more tracks. Uh, that's fine. But, see, I wanted... I yeah, because there's shit down here, kid. I'm gonna collect that shit. Oh, I forgot. Interact. Interact. Okay. What do we got? Hack silver. Okay. Anything in here? Just a pile of ashes. Oh, look at that. What did we come around to? What did we come around to? I wish mom were here. Oh, we're going down there. I know we're supposed to be hunting that deer, but we're going down here first. Oh shit, what the- Oh fuck! Fuck. I did like that with zero style whatsoever. Bestiary updated. New entry ad added. Uh, okay, rabid wolf. I've always admired wolves, but the ones we've encountered. The ones we've. Is that a weave or weir? The ones we've encountered attack us on sight. Okay. Which means <laughs> they're probably rabid. I guess to them we are food. I know it's kill or be killed, but still. They're beautiful in their own way. Killing them makes me a little sad. Good thing father probably won't read this. Whoa. Oh, okay. So this is... This is, um... His son's journal. Just kind of assumed that this was... I just kind of assumed that this was all... From Kratos' point of view. <laughs> like, I would expect... Even the menu to be such. Like, in reference to things that he might read. But, uh... Okay, it's yeah, from I imagine they were. Oh, there's a bunch of shit down here. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, good fun. Oh, another toy. So there must be four in the area in total. Huh. Uh I think those are what you get if you get the stonemason collector's edition, which I happen to get. Um, and I think it has those little, they're like little wood carvings. I haven't gone into it yet. I haven't even pulled the statue out yet. Um, I just wanted to get into the game. And uh, I actually got a pretty good deal on it, which I, I don't buy collector's editions often. But honestly, I'd rather spend the money on a collector's edition and get like some crazy ass statue made by Gentle Giant than spend money on like microtransactions in the game. Like once the game is over, all that money that I spent on like outfits or extra weapons or skins for weapons or, you know, shit like that, like. I mean, that's what Destiny thrives on now. But, um, I mean, it always has, but I'm talking about as far as microtransactions. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you spend the money on that shit, and then once you beat the game, then what did that... I mean, I guess the money went into your enjoyment of the game. I mean, there is that. That does have value. Uh, but for me, I want something tangible, you know, if I'm going to throw some extra money at the game. So, I don't mind doing the collector's edition, because... 
for me that's uh that that's my like equivalent of microtransactions i guess that's that's what i'm willing to spend money on for for a video game what did you find they can no longer use it Act silver we can oh the little boy okay so his son questions like why we're basically robbing a grave uh yeah that was a, a coffin or what would it be like a I don't even know what that would be called. I don't think it would be a coffin. Is that everything down here? Oh, I love that. <laughs> I wonder if it sticks in walls. Yes, it does. That is awesome. Holy shit, it's stuck into the freaking wall. If I hit triangle without holding aim, will it... Okay, it comes back. Okay, cool. So it's just triangle. Alright. Okay, I g we gotta go. We gotta go do something else. We're, like, dilly-dallying in this cave. Oh, nice! He jumps on his back. That's cool. Instead of... That's a, that's a unique thing. Instead of having them both climb the chain separately. Uh, it's so weird to see a, a like, normal-sized chain in... <laughs> In God of War, as opposed to like ridiculously gigantic chain links that he's some somehow traversing. I mean, this is like obviously like more realistic in size, I guess. So we know we got one more toy to find. So we got to keep an eye out for that. And this is, okay, so this was, so, so we're just backtracking. I didn't realize how far I had actually gone off track. Okay. So, that way? I think. Right? I thought you were leading, kid. Up there! Oh, yep, there it is. You went in the old temple, but mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. That's right. That is the attitude to have. I can't, there wasn't anything going off the side of the bridge or anything, was there? I wasn't, I, Atreus, like I wasn't. Follow me. Sorry, I got distracted. You got distracted. I'm the one who's distracted. I'm the one looking for treasure. Oh yeah, see there's shit down there. How do I get down there? How do I get down there? I don't see... There's a bunch of shit down there. I wonder if I get to it from over there? I don't see any other way of getting over there. It has, it, there has to be like a roundabout way because, uh, it's, everything's blocked on this side. Unless there's some secret tunnel somewhere. <laughs> I doubt it. So maybe once we go inside there, then we'll be able to somehow drop down. Because there's a big old opening right there. At least I think there is. I hope once I go in here, I'm not... I'm gonna be stuck. Oh, the door closed behind me, huh? Damn. Uh... Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? Whoa. We should get closer. Oh, that's right. You're not gonna hit it from there, kid. Why would you ask for your bow at that moment? Fuck. Okay, so I can't... Oh! I can go back. That is good to know. Okay, that's cool. Sweet. I don't think there's anything over here that I can do, but... What about... Is there, like, um, a tunnel under the ice? Maybe you can get over from that side? 
No, look, it's blocked off right there. It's got to be from over there somewhere. I can't drop off the bridge. I'm spending way too much time on this. Anything over here? Uh, dang. I want to go get all that shit that's over on the uh, on the ground over there. I went there. hunting with mother a bunch of times. He never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish, and it was time. Okay. That's interesting. So Kratos never took him hunting before, and it was at the request of whoever the woman is. Obviously, the mother and. <clears throat> I'm gonna assume wife. I'm gonna assume they were married. You gotta like sometimes just pause in, in your movement and just try and appreciate the moment, like, appreciate the sounds and the... Oh, there's another door here. Oh, shit. Uh, <clears throat> During combat, an enemy health bar is displayed above them when they take damage or when targeted by Kratos. Oh, shit. That, uh... Fuck, I didn't realize I was that close to the wall. Ah, damn it! Shield. Damn it, turn around! Oh shit, shit! Oh! The timing on those two blows. Throwing it at their head or feet can lead to effective results. Interesting. Okay. So we, so you actually get targeting, it's not, it's not just a general hitbox. Draugr. Crazy ass name, but obviously that's something. So if I. I don't want to try and go for his head from here. Shit. Ah, damn it. I let go and tried to. There we go. Fuck. Let's see if we can time this again. Nice! Yeah! Ah, damn it! Nice! So you can, like, volley them like in, in the previous games. That's awesome. Ah, damn it! Ah, oh, I took... Oh, I, I was too slow on the timing. Son of a bitch. Oh, and en enemy attacks that flash yellow or red indicate that they will break Kratos' block. Evade these. Okay. Fuck, there's just... 
There's a lot to freaking process. Look, yeah, we got that. All right. Let's try for the head this time. Okay, I gotta I gotta try some different combos here. Damn it. Shit. Oh. Fuck. This is not a good spot. Ah, damn it. Okay. Wow. That's, uh, that is challenging. Definitely more challenging. And I'm sure there are things that I could be doing to make it easier, but... I'm not used to this yet. Now I aimed... Oh, maybe... It looked like it kind of went like a darker red a second ago. didn't seem to do anything. Ah, fuck. Damn, they do a lot of damage, too. Man, you can hear that guy just hit the wall. Okay, I thought there were gonna be more. Okay, man, that was intense. It doesn't help that I died the first two times. Okay, we got a chain. What do we got here? Okay, he could probably go through that, but Kratos is... Kratos. Kratos is definitely not getting through there. What's up there? I wonder if I can get to... Oh, there was this other door. forgot about it. Oh, here we are. Okay. Sweet. Yep. Oh, shit. Whoa! Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Where the hell did this guy come from? Wait, that guy looked like he was stunned. Yeah, he's stunned. Couldn't do anything, though. 
I half expected to be a troll under that bridge. You are not ready for trolls, boy. <laughs> I know, I just... Yes, Father. I think we have a complete set of those now. Oh, we do. Sweet. 400 XP, not bad. Pack Silva. Did it say a new armor set? No. Okay. I thought it said that we did. Uh, can we enchant it with anything? No. So we don't have any other enchantments. Discovered. Uh, what about weapons? Did we check? No. No runic abilities. What about skills? Can we level up yet? Okay. Requires axe upgrade two. Unlocks an after throw finisher after two consecutive precision throws. Interesting. Oops. I forgot that I had to use the joystick. Uh, aim and press R2 for a powerful attack that freezes smaller enemies. Okay, so that's already unlocked. So that's what we already have. Uh, what about for close combat? Hold R2 for brutal cleaving axe. Oh, okay. Uh, it's hold R2, so not just not tapping it. Um, we have just barely enough. That's funny. Uh, grinding storm. I think I... Yeah, I think the heavy attack. I, I said we were going to get that, but... Uh, heavy attack finisher at the end of the light. Oh, so we're... Okay, so we're basically unlocking the, the move combo sets. Okay. R1, 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 R2. No, we gotta go with this one. I'm not, I, I, I know I do a lot of fast attacks, but yeah, okay. Purchase. Yeah, okay, Executioner's Cleave. And we got everything except for this, right? Yeah. He ain't gonna use it. Okay, let's go. Wait, yep. How did that boat get up here? Well, I guess this is, well, th yeah, this is water right here, so I guess it was floating there. I, I was assuming it came from below. What? Wait, wait, what? What? He, s he said, I think this is something. What did you see? Or are you just talking about this area? You must be just talking about this area. Because there's definitely nothing over here. I'm just going to convince myself of that. Notice the, um, the sheath for his axe. Or I guess the ring. It's uh, the, the uh, Omega symbol from previous... Previous games. Okay, so how do we get in there? Nope. See, I'm assuming this is for that gate, so... Hmm. Oh. Open. Oh, did this one open too? Oh, it opened both. Hold L2 to aim. Okay. And press R1 and R2 to throw the axe. At what? Why would I do that right now? Does it want me to throw it at something? Oh, look at that. As soon as I hover over it, it kind of glows. Look at that. Ah, uh, see? Oh, because the, the axe is facing that direction? Is that... You froze it in place. Okay. Clever. Nice. Alright. That works. So I gotta keep an eye out for things that might glow only when looked at. More hack silver? Oh, that's a lot. Holy shit. 766. Okay. That's so cool that the axe does that. So... 
you were saying. What's this? Where you going? More hack silver. I think he's this way. Oh, there's shit over here, kid. Have you learned anything yet? How the uh, how these sarcophagus, or these sarcophagi, or whatever they're, whatever they are, the coffins. I love how, I don't know. It's such a it's such a different concept than having him fling open those weird stone chests, unless those were coffins and they just didn't look like it. Was oh, this another apple? Or no, it's just health. Oh. Right? Yeah. Okay, so the health doesn't regenerate on its own, right? And oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. So now we can lift the gate. Oh, are we gonna have to mash the button? Are we gonna have to mash it while he does power squats to to thrust the door up? <laughs> nope. It's just one just one touch. Alright. Cool. So we don't have to do the the contextual shit. More hacks over. And more hack silver. All right, Q. I'll take all the hack silver you guys want to give me, because I'm sure it will. <laughs> I'm sure it will come in handy at some point. What is that? And I love how it actually hits things on its way back to you, like because notice it it hit the uh, it comes back and it like cleaves the edge of the stone. Oh, that time I went through it. Maybe I'm full of shit. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I feel like a... F Never mind. <laughs> okay, we're going up here now. Oh, seriously. I thought it was like I was giving them too much credit. <laughs> okay, in the chest, he just bashes. Okay, so I hit that. It's- I swear, it like- it like... glinted off of the, uh... Can I sharpen my axe on this? Nope, but I can break it. Um, I swear it glinted off like the edge of that stone pillar thing. Yeah. What the hell is this? It's Skull and Hati. Skull and Hati. Chase the sun and moon. Where did they come from? How did they get this there? This is definitely got to be Nordic. What's happening there at the end? They eat the sun and moon, and then everybody fights. It's definitely not Greek mythology, that's for sure. More than myth, one of eleven. So these are labors, which are typically. Quests in um, in ancient Greek mythology. Each each labor is a quest. Um, I think there was like the I don't remember how many there was like the twelve labors of Hercules or something like that. I don't, like one of them, he had to kill the the Cestus uh, the not the Cestus. He had to kill the something lion. I can't remember what kind of what what it was exactly, but that's how he got the uh, the golden Cestus. Um. Not to be confused with the Golden Fleece. So, find all Jotner Shrines. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. I'm sure I did not even come close. Uh, the Giants left behind shrines that tell stories from their history. I loved these stories when Mom told them. Let's see how many we can find. I, I love the point of this point of view actually really really works the the fact that it's like you're on this journey which we haven't even gone out in onto a into a journey yet like we're still we're still near home um 
the the to the kid though it's like he wants to record all of these things that he's experiencing or sees or finds that's a it's how has no one ever really kind of gone with that kind of direction i can't even can't even think right now um obviously games you know have these kind of like journals where you see what you've collected but that's all it is it's like a it's an interface to see what you've collected or what you've you spotted or what you blew up or what you know things like that but never it's never given the perspective that you're actually wanting to record all the things you're experiencing uh but here they're doing that and that's really cool i really dig that mid midgard wait mid oh we are okay we're in midgard Th this is it mid wait Wait, isn't Midgard... Mi Midgard is Earth, right? That are the equivalent of Earth, or it is Earth? Like, our realm? Isn't that what... Mi I think that's what Midgard is. Um, damn it, what was the... What's the name of the... Uh, I can't think of it now. Why can't I think of it? The Where Thor is from. <laughs> How am I blanking on this? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go look it up. No, I'm, I'll probably think of it before I actually get to... Oh man, I was hoping I would remember before I got the- Asgard! Jeez, why couldn't I freaking think of that? And it's not like I haven't seen the Thor movie or read the comic books a million times. Um... Well, I guess I didn't really read the comic books when I was younger. I read other ones, like Spawn and shit like that. Um, I wasn't really a Thor fan, but I am a huge Thor fan now. I think the last, the the last Thor movie, uh, Ragnarok, was really, really freaking good. Like up there with Guardians of the Galaxy, I would say. Um, which, by the way, oh my God, Avengers: Infinity War in like a week. I can't freaking believe it. Oh my god. Like, the culmination of my childhood. That's... Like, I grew up collecting comic books, and my all-time favorite was the Infinity Gauntlet. It was the best series or mini-series comic book that I owned, and I still own it. Um, signed by George Perez, which is freaking sweet. Um, yeah. So I know I know what to expect in the movie, and I'm sure they'll they'll change some things so that it's not exactly the, exactly the same as the Infinity Gauntlet in the the comic book. Um, which I mean, I've I've seen a lot of very like almost kind of like nuanced changes, but for the most part, so far from what I've seen, they're they're sticking to the actual comic book storyline. So, I'm so stoked. Uh, anyway, so we're on Midgard, which Midgard would be Earth. So we're not... Asgard Asgard would be like the equivalent of Olympus. Which, I would have thought he would have been on Asgard, to be honest, because Kratos is a god, but maybe he met a human woman. I don't know. Oh, uh, to show the lore adage. Okay, I need to go back to the... I didn't, I didn't end up reading any of the lore. Uh, where is the lore? That's, this is our map. Our codex. Wolf giants. Skull chases the sun and Hattie the moon. What happens when they catch their prey? Looks like a massive fight. Odin, Thor, the world serpent. Could it be? So, think about that. Think about that for a second. You have these two wolves that are chasing the sun and the moon. What happens when they catch their prey? I'm wondering if that's like supposed to be like some kind of uh, implication of when there's an eclipse. Uh, when, when there's an eclipse, then that would kind of be the equivalent of the sun and the moon disappearing, right? So maybe that's the, the wolf skull and Hattie. At that moment, they catch the the sun and the moon, which creates an eclipse. And I wonder if, going back in history, what kind of events we could see uh, at the time of a total eclipse. 
I don't know. And I th and I'm thinking probably more along the lines of it would probably be a a lunar eclipse if anything. Because even during the daytime if there's a solar eclipse then you would see you would see the ring around the moon. So they wouldn't think that the moon and the sun were gone. But during a lunar eclipse, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Draugr. Mother said the Draugr were warriors who died, but their souls were too stubborn and angry to stop fighting. They'd fight off the Valkyrie that came to collect them. Interesting. Okay. And bring their own dead bodies back to life. Warping and twisting their previous form into something else. Now they're husks of their former selves. And fight any, and fight anybody they can find. She also said they can come back in all different shapes and sizes. And that some even have powers that others may not. Draugr fight with dangerous weapons, but they aren't very skilled with them. Not like Father and his axe. I'm I'm definitely not skilled with that thing yet. Uh, if we watch their movements, it should be easy to dodge or block their attacks. Yeah, I'm I'm far from from skilled. And we already read the thing. Oh, is that an? Did he add a note to it? Wolves typically hunt in packs and will try to surround their prey. Father should try to keep them in front of him. And, and let me help draw their attention. How do you draw their attention? Okay. I should probably just play the game instead of just like reading all this shit, right? Oh, that reminds me. Uh, <laughs> back into the menu we go. Oh, let's see. Where is... Uh, okay, so this is armor... How do I get to... Well, oh, shield is under weapons? Okay, that's weird. I, well, I guess I, I guess that makes sense. Um, I forgot that I had these other ones. Oh, and they are, they are green. There's a green common. Blue for rare. Yeah, see? Okay. I didn't, even though I commented on that, I didn't realize that that, that was what was going on. Uh, the Exile's Guardian. The Stalwart Shield etched by a great stonemason from Jotunheim. A golden shield bursting with the righteous glory of Valhalla. Ooh, okay. Uh, so I can either do, I can either rock the shield from Jotunheim or I can rock the shield from Valhalla. I, I don't think there's even a question there. But I, it looks like I already had that well, compare. I can compare them. Okay. Do I find stuff with stats later on? Because so far, the only thing I'm seeing is just descriptions. So there's no, there don't seem to be any stats or anything. I love how it comes out of his... Out of his uh, armlet there. Like, it's part of his armlet and it just expands out of it. That's pretty cool. It's not like it just... It's not like it just appears out of thin air, like... It's it's actually a magical item, just like his axe. Okay. On... Back down here again. Actually, hold on. You might want to back up, kid. <laughs> That is cool. I wish I had done that earlier. That was a pretty significant explosion. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that. Can I just drop off? No, I have to actually climb. That's not a big drop. Should have been able to make that. Okay, um, well, this video was long again <laughs> uh, but hopefully hopefully somewhat entertaining even though I spent a lot of time just philosophizing and going through the menu instead of <laughs> playing the game so uh, 
the next one will be the, the, there'll be more Kratos and more God of War in the next one. I promise. All right, take it easy, guys.